Sadhuji, I welcome you in the name of Jesus and I know this is the plan of God that we are sitting together discussing about His love and His plan for humankind. And I have so many questions to ask. First of all, I like to ask, uh, you wearing this orange uh, dress and I have seen other pastors and they wear a uh, suit like me or the white dress, but what is the significant, it looks like as you are from Hindu background. <laughs> Uh, this is the question <clears throat> in many places people used to ask me. Uh -huh. And uh, I think no religion has any colorful uniform. <laughs> so only they have themselves adapted. I see. Uh, nowhere in the Quran that uh, Maulavi should put on green color dress. Uh -huh. And even Buddha never prescribed some sort of color for the Buddhist monks. I see. And uh, nowhere in the Hindu scripture that uh, put people should put on this colorful saffron color dress. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, even in the Bible, it uh, doesn't say that uh, a priest or a pastor should be on white dress with a black thread on the hip. <laughs> yes. And the bishops <laughs> having some sort of funny sort of, yeah, cap, cap and everything. Yeah. It's all uh, human made. But um, <clears throat> being uh, born in a country like India, uh -huh. when I became a Christian, I was most impressed by the teaching of Jesus Christ that uh, he wants a transformation in the heart, mm -hmm. not outwardly. I see, okay. So, Inward change. nobody can change the religion because all religions are made only by human knowledge. Mm -hmm. God never uh, formed any religion. And uh, in one place, uh, Apostle Paul, when he said uh, he wants to become a Jew to the Jews and Greek to the Greeks and those who are under law, he wants under law, and those yeah. who do not under law, he wants to be and not under law. Yeah, free man. <laughs> and he said, uh, by all means, Christ should be preached. Uh -huh. That was very uh, attractive to me. And, and I thought, if I am an Indian, why not I look like an Indian? Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, you and, look like uh, an Indian. Why not I look like a Hindu? Uh -huh. but okay. Because it's only a religion which has men made. Mm -hmm. But I am not following any religion and Jesus also never told anything about religion. Uh -huh. He doesn't, he did not say change your religion. I see. He said change your heart. Amen. So, yes. that's uh, for uh, our people, uh -huh. country like India, they regard this colorful dress. I see. So, I, I want to be amongst them. I, uh -huh. I don't want to keep away from them. Mm -hmm. I want to be with them. With them. So, just to make them come close to me. I see. I prefer this colorful dress. Good. <laughs> it's looking good as well. Yeah. Anyway, our other question is this. What made you a uh, follower of Christ? Um, actually, my background, uh, my fathers, uh, forefathers, mm -hmm. uh, they might have been Hindus. I see. But it seems during the First World War and Second World War, Mm -hmm. uh, many people st follow, started to follow the way of uh, Christians because English people were ruling India. Yeah, British. And uh, uh, Britishers. Yes. And during that time, many people just wanted to please them. Mm -hmm. They might have become Christians. And uh, it's also the other thing that, uh, you know that in India we have caste systems. Yes, caste system. A lot yes. of caste systems and the upper caste and the lower caste Jati and the Vardis. pandits mm -hmm. and all these things. Mm -hmm. um, suppose uh, the priest do not allow the low caste people enter into the temple. Okay. Yeah? Even today. Yes. The low caste people are not, not the, allowed. The, the Dalits. The Dalits, the Dalits okay, they Dalit, are yes. not okay. allowed to, uh, not only to the temple but also to the places where the upper caste people live. Uh -huh. That uh, severe uh, is still there. Is still okay. there. Oh, still I there. See. Even in villages, I see. You can see a, a, a person belonging to the Dalit. Mm -hmm. He cannot walk with a chapel where the upper class people live. He cannot walk with a chapel on the roads. Oh, I he see. He has to take the chapel in his hand. Uh -huh. So this casteism, <laughs> uh, because the high, high caste people stop this low caste people entering into the temple. I see. That time when the Christians came and preached the gospel of Jesus, he said anyone can come to him. Oh, I see. Okay. So they consider everybody as a human being, mm -hmm. whereas these people were treated like animals and slaves, though they are human beings uh -huh. because of their caste system. I see. Okay. So that time uh, they might have thought that uh, there are a group of people who invite us to their temple, they can be uh, elevated from the society. So mm -hmm. 
with that reason many people many dalits have become christians i see okay so during that time my grandfather also sought the help of the white people because they were the rulers mm -hmm. and uh, my father was uh, a little bit educated in the village i see so the white man asked my father why not he become a supervisor in his mission Uh -huh. So he was working under him. I see. Okay. But uh, inwardly, I, I don't think he was a real true Christian. Okay. Just for uh, just to show job, yes, or something okay. like that. For the job or for some benefits. And uh, it was in 1942, in mm -hmm. uh, during World War II, uh, my father was not paid uh, by the missionary well. I see. He was given a very slow, small salary. I see. So when he asked for a big salary, he asked him to leave the mission field. Uh -huh. So we were stranded actually at that time. Um, we were in a town where there was a big uh, Hindu temple, and every evening uh, the pujari will give some prasad to I people. See. Okay. So we were suffering out of poverty. So I used to go to the temple uh -huh. just to receive that prasad. <laughs> okay. And I thought that uh, if I Behave good with the priest. He mm. may give you double portion. Okay. So I can fill my stomach with All the right. prasad. Yes, for the food you <laughs> going there. Yeah, that's how uh, I started going there. Uh -huh. Then something was interesting to see how they chant the mantras and uh, taking bath early morning and ch standing in the temple and they're chanting the slokas. Uh -huh. That uh, that was very beautiful for me. Okay. So I I used to listen carefully. And memorize it. Mm -hmm. So gradually, that was the beginning of uh, studying the Hindu religion. I see. Okay. Uh, but at that time, I do not know Sanskrit because Sanskrit is not my mother tongue or, or not my. You, you just said it's the beginning of Hindu religion. Hindu religion. So what was your previous faith? Previous faith, I I did not know. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> because my father was under a white missionary. Uh huh. But I do not know whether he was a Christian or a true Christian or not. So mm -hmm. I can't say that. So for me, it was only starvation which made me to enter into the temple. I see. Okay. And uh, gradually, I picked up the mantras whenever he is saying the, the chantings, the srokas. I used to follow him. Uh huh. So he found something interesting in me. So he asked me whether I will help him in his puja. I see. So I obeyed it, and then, and then as I thought, I was given some more portion from the prasad. Okay. The pastor was yeah. very impressed. <laughs> So he taught okay. me some mantras. One was, "Pabo hum, paba karmo hum, paba atma, paba sampava, trahima pudari harcha sarva paba hari hari." That means I am born in sin. I am a doer of sin. I am a sinful self. So I am a sinner. Uh, Lord, I cannot get rid of my sin. Mm -hmm. I commit sin by my thinking, by my speech, by my look, and by my body. Mm -hmm. uh, she so say, Lord. Sarva pap hari hari. God, remove all the sins from I me. See. Okay, that was so. Good. That was very good. I thought that uh, if I pray that daily, uh -huh. uh, the Lord will forgive my sins. Then um, after that, it's called Pratasnana mantra. So, who you pray these mantras? Who who was that? I do not know, but uh, the priest told me this. I, I memorized that. <laughs> okay. I did not know who is the real God. I see. Was. Who, who you praying to? You don't know about that. Yeah. Okay. And uh, he told me he it, it, it was a big temple. There were many gods and goddesses there. I see in the temple. So every god he will stand and chant some mantra. Sometimes he will tell Gayatri mantra, which is so precious for any Hindu. Mm -hmm. It says Om Bhur Bhuva Sadat Savidur Varenyam Bargo Devasya Dimehi Dya Yona Prasodiyat. This mantra can be repeated for thousand eight times or hundred and eight times or eight times seven or once. So, he is the light of lights. Is we can say it's the brightest light. Brightest light. Okay. And Dya uh, Yona Prasodiyat, the one who induces our heart, let us meditate upon him. Uh -huh. This is the meaning of Gayatri Mantra. I see. Okay. So, who is the brightest light uh, mm -hmm. in this world? I see. Okay. Because God is the light. Yeah, Bible says that Jesus says, "I'm the light." Yeah, of the every world. religion, every yeah. religion, I even see. in Hindu religion, uh -huh. God is uh, God is considered as a light. As a light. Okay. Because only when the light comes, the darkness will go away. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's uh, one beautiful prayer in Pragadarin Upanishad, which says, "Asodama sadgamaya tamosoma jyotir kamaya." Mm -hmm. So lead me from darkness to light. This the prayer goes to God. Okay, so that's, God, written, God, that's written in Vedas. Yeah, in the Upanishad. Upanishad. Okay. So 
God should be a light. Okay. Otherwise, he cannot remove the darkness, darkness okay. from the heart of men or the mind mm -hmm. of men. So, this Gayatri Mantra was very interesting when I chant this with uh, accurate pronunciation. Okay. And the people who come early in the morning to the temples, they used to admire at me. What a the, the little boy chanting the Gayatri Mantra very perfectly. Okay. And they used to tap my back and mm -hmm. they, they will give some banana and okay. some coconut or these things. Which I, actually I thought I have become a great priest. <laughs> Right. Not knowing anything and, about okay. Hindu religion mm -hmm. or any Vedas. You don't know something. who you're praying to. I just yeah, memorized okay. that. Okay. Then uh, after some times uh, I started to say this puja mantra like Om Sri Bhamaputra Ayanam, Sikhani Sutta Ayanam, Shumata Ayanam, Sivarcha Solar Ayanam, all this Namaha. I see. This is uh, that means uh, I praise your name. I, I praise your name. Okay. I praise your name. Okay. So Om Sri Brahmaputra Ayanamaha, the one who is called the son of the creator, I praise your name. Okay. So I'm Sri Uma Thayanama. Uma means Shakti. Uh -huh. And Shakti, what the, you Christians call uh, is the power, Holy Spirit. I see, okay. So one who is born of the Spirit. Om Sri Kannisudayanama. The one who is born of a virgin. Oh, I see. So Om Sri Virchas. Yeah, it's also a mantra they say. Okay. So it, that, that it is, goes it is, to It is Jesus not in only. one portion, it is scattered in many. Uh, mantras. But that goes uh, to, uh, towards Jesus, a son of God, uh, born with virgin? Yeah, that time I do not know anything. Okay. I just no, was chanting the mantras. The Bible, yes. okay. But uh, people Very who know Jesus Christ will easily understand to whom this prayer goes. Uh -huh. But many people in India, they, they do not uh, read the Veda or study the Veda or learn the Veda. Uh -huh. They simply follow the religion of their ancestors. Okay. See, that's why many people are ignorant about the Vedas. Mm -hmm. See, when you go to a church, uh, the pastor or the priest, they teach the Bible to the people. Yes. They, is that right? is, Yes. They teach. teach. The yes. They want their people to understand what Bible is. Uh -huh. See, go to uh, 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 Islam. Uh -huh. The Maulavis, they teach Quran uh -huh. to their disciples. Okay. But in Hinduism, how many temples they teach the Hindu uh, mantras to the people? Nobody. Oh, I see. See, because what they say, all these mantras belong to the pandits. Mm -hmm. they, they never allowed the ordinary people to learn mantras. They say it is mantras, it is heavenly language. The ordinary people cannot uh, study that or know that. Oh, they I are see. forbidden. Okay. So what the pundits say, people have to follow. Uh -huh. That's how Jesus also told in the Bible, the blind leading the blind. Okay. So like that many people are quite ignorant of what their Veda is. Even uh -huh. the great Sankarachari who, is, uh, who died recently, uh, he once he mentioned that the Christians at least know their Bible, the Muslims at least know their Quran, mm -hmm. but I do not know how many Hindus know their scripture. That is true. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> when the Pujari says a mantra in the temple, I have never seen people asking him, what are you saying? So, they, do they understand what they, they say? Don't know. They don't understand. Mm -hmm. and I, I doubt whether the Pujari himself understands it or <laughs> oh, not. That's very funny. Because I asked, asked too many Pujaris what right. you are saying, tell me, tell me in my language. Uh -huh. I can't understand Sanskrit. I say, this is mantra, you can't understand. You just follow what I say. Oh. So, that's how I was growing. And... Uh, when I was studying uh, uh, in 9th standard, uh -huh. uh, I felt I was about 14 years old at that time. Okay. So whenever in the temple some beautiful young girls come, I used to watch them carefully, see, because of the age. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's That's naturally right. with all yeah, yeah, people. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any human being is tempted to look on a beautiful yeah, girl yeah, okay. or a beautiful right. boy. Oh, yeah, okay. So, but uh, I didn't like that. I didn't like that, uh -huh. but it was there. Okay. So, I was sad, at the same time, I was happy to look at them. Okay. And uh, then Why I thought, you were sad? Because I thought I am committing some sin <laughs> okay. by All looking right. to a woman. Looking to a woman, okay. And um, so, even the look, they mm -hmm. say, astapyam, by my eyes, I commit sin. Commit sin, yes. So, if I look by, with an evil uh, thinking, Desire, yeah. that is already an adultery. Okay. Uh, so, I was uh, so sad in me, and I asked my priest, uh, how to uh, escape from this? I see. And he that look your toe and walk. Don't look at the face of woman. Look your toe and walk. Oh, I so see. I started looking at my toe, toe and walk, walk and finally one day I dashed to a woman. <laughs>
<laughs> so, looking the tone, to walking will never take the <laughs> sin from me. Oh, right. from my yeah, that's funny. So, okay. then I asked him, though I do not like to commit sin, uh-huh. why I commit sin? Okay. Something is forcing yeah, me. Yeah, as, as Paul says. Then uh, one of my friend, who is also a, a Brahmin boy, and his father is a priest, and this boy told me, uh, showed me from Gita, mm-hmm. that Arjun asking a question to Krishna. Atakena priyukto ayam pavam charadi purusha. Anichin api varsinaya bhaladiva niyojita. Uh-huh. I mean, the question is, O oh, the saint of uh, Varsini Gotra, Though I do not like to commit sin, mm-hmm. I am forced to commit sin. Okay. I find something in me. Uh-huh. What is that? Okay. So Krishna answers him saying, Kama yesha, Krodha yesha, Rajoguna samudbhava. Mm-hmm. You are born in Rajoguna sin. You're born in sin? In sin. Okay. So the Kama and Krodha which is in you, mm-hmm. though you do not like to commit sin, it forces you to commit sin. Okay. This is the thing which makes me to stand away from me. Okay. So this is a very reasonable thing. Paul says in, 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 in the Word of God, I mean, that's the thing I want, don't want to do, I do it. And the things I want to do, I cannot. Yeah. So the, you're talking something. Yeah, that is in Sim- Romans 7th yeah. chapter. Romans, and yeah, finally Romans, yes. he says, what a wretched man I am. <laughs> okay. Who will deliver me? That's a beautiful question. Uh-huh. Who, will Who will deliver, deliver me, me? Okay. from this bondage? All right. See, he never said which will deliver me. Uh, I said, Who will See, deliver Who will? Me. So okay. this, you need a person. Mm-hmm. Even in, in, uh, in one of the Siddha, Siddha means the one who has knowledge about God. I see. In Tamil Nadu, there's a beautiful poem. Uh, when a thief is caught and tied mm-hmm. to a post, I see. even he may confess that he will never do it do again. It again. Okay. He will cry. He may feel for it. Really, he may feel for it. Uh-huh. This feeling and the tears will not make the ropes to fall down. <laughs> right. See, okay. somebody has to come. Yeah, okay. The uh, one who hears his real confession, I see. somebody should uh, come in, uh, come forward compassion. to release him yeah, okay. out of his own compassion. Mm-hmm. And also, if the people ask, why do you are releasing? Why do you releasing? Uh-huh. So, he may take charge of that. I will be responsible. I see. For him. Okay. So he takes the responsibility and then Release. unless he ties the rope, uh-huh. he cannot get released. Like that, a human soul is bound with ropes. Okay. So I may cry, Lord, I am a sinner, I am a sinner, how to escape from this? Uh-huh. This crying and the tears and my ambition and wish will not forgive me. <laughs> All right, okay. Unless somebody unless comes and releases release me. me. Okay. So in the Vedas, actually, they were expecting a God. Ah, they are expecting, expecting a God, God in Vedas, okay. who will come, come down in this world okay. to release from the bondage of sin. Mm-hmm. So I was gradually studying this and who is this God and finally I have a, on, on, one priest advised me to become a student of Rig Veda. I see. And uh, as I started studying Rig Veda, there is a beautiful portion in the tenth uh, part portion of Rig Veda. Mm-hmm. Uh, it is called Purusha Shukta. Uh, okay. Purusha Shukta, the beginning first five songs are uh, talking about the creation of the world. Okay. And the rest of the song says how uh, God himself become the redeemer for sinners mm-hmm. by sacrificing his body. I see, okay. So in, uh, in um, uh, Azur Veda, there are a lot of things mentioned about animal sacrifices. Mm-hmm. In Sama Veda, there is one portion. Uh, it is called Purusha Shukta. Uh, Purusha Shukta, the beginning first five songs are uh, talking about the creation of the world. Okay. And the rest of the song says how uh, God himself become the redeemer for sinners mm-hmm. by sacrificing his body. I see. Okay. So in, uh, in um, uh, Azur Veda, there are a lot of things mentioned about animal sacrifices. Mm-hmm. In Sama Veda, there is one portion called Tandiya Mahabrahmana, in which the saint says, Prajapadir Devapyaham Admanam Yagyam Kruduva Prayachit. Prajapati. Pati means Lord, Lord and Praja okay. means people. Yeah, okay. So it is the Lord of the people who will take a form of human body okay. to be offered as a sacrifice mm-hmm. for the remission of sin. Okay. This, right. uh, this actually, I asked my priests, my gurus, and my elders, and the leaders of the religion, why we do not have a temple for Prajapati. 
Okay. We have lot of temples for other gods and goddesses. Oh, there's no Prajapati. But there's no temple for Prajapati. Nobody is teaching about Prajapati. Nobody explain who this Prajapati. Uh huh. So this priest, he was a very learned man, and he told me, in many areas, either from the Brahmanas or Agamas or even from Upanishads and Rig Veda, he quoted so many things which are very interesting. Okay. Uh, I have uh, something written in my book. I have written all these things in a book. Oh, I see. Okay. And there are some beautiful points which I would like to and this tell book is not, o- not only to you but also to the audience, okay. so that they can make uh, a reference. Okay. See, um, there are many parallels. Religions are uh, made only for good things. No religion teach go and steal, just go and beat somebody. Mm-hmm. Don't go, do go and someone, yes. do adultery. No, no yeah, religion. Okay. All religion is teaching okay. only good things. All right. But religion is not salvation. You can be a religious person. Mm-hmm. The same time you can commit sin. Okay. Yes. See? That is that is. Even in Christianity, yes. there are so many Christians uh-huh. who commit sin. What about gay marriages in foreign countries? Oh. The Christians. Yes. Is this allowed in the Bible? No. Uh, is, uh, uh, so many people after marriage they get divorced. Uh-huh. Is this allowed in Bible? No, no. So they can be religionist, uh-huh. but at the same time they can be sinners. sinners so religion yeah. mm-hmm. is not the way for salvation. Okay, it's only the grace of God. Amen. So here in the in uh, regarding the Prasha Prajapati, uh, there's uh, some saying in uh, there's one Upanishad called Chandogya Upanishad. Mm-hmm. The very sub- first chapter in this chapter six says. That uh, Prajapati should be a sinless one. He is called Nishkalanga Purusha. Okay. He is a sinless, oh, sinless one. one. And uh, in Sadbada Brahmana, 13th chapter, it is written that uh, Purusha sacrifice, the man is completely separated from other man. Okay. The sacrificial Sacrific- Prajapati yeah. should, be, should separated be separated for separated other, man. other man. To show the separation, they used to keep a wild creeper, the thorny creeper, on the head of the Prajapati. All right, crown of thorn. That is in the Chanda in the Satpada Brahmana. I see. Okay. Then again in the Purusha Shukta Rig Veda, it is said, when the, uh, when the devas want to sacrifice the Purusha, God the Father was silent. Okay. All right. And uh, and also in Aidriya Brahmana chapter two, uh-huh. sloka sixteen says that the sacrificial anim- animal should be rejected by the parents, by the brothers and sisters and relatives and friends. Mm-hmm. Should be rejected. All right. And in Rig Veda 5th chapter 46 verse says that Purusha Prajapati is a silent sufferer. Okay. He will be silent. silent. Yeah, he will be silent, silent. Not, sa- not, sa- not open yeah. his mouth. And uh, in the Sabda, Sadbada Brahmana, uh, it says that the uh, sacrificial animal should be tied to the post. All right. See, uh, it is called. Uh, have you seen in Hindu temples there is always a post in front of the door, the main door. That's a that's a post stand. Even today, every yeah. Hindu temple every Hindu has temple a post. Is a post. Yeah. Okay. As soon as you enter the main gate, you see the post there. They say it's uh, it, this post is used for flag hoisting. It's not for flag hoisting. It is called upastampa, in what which the animals will be tied. Oh, I see. And the pujari will, will come and sanctify the animal. Uh-huh. Then the animal will be taken to the altar to get its sacrifice. Oh, I see. Okay. So, even which temple the, you're talking about? I've seen other temple and I didn't see in the, the Hindu po- temples, yeah? especially Shaiva temples. Okay. They, they still believe in animal sacrifices. Oh, I see. And even in India, even today, in some villages and uh, small towns, mm-hmm. these animal sacrifices are being done. And uh, I made a photograph of this animal sacrifice and put it in my website. Okay. <laughs> so you can go through that and All find right. it. Yeah. It's called agniministries.com. Agniministries.com. Dot com, or okay. small letters. All right. And, um, uh, and also it says in Aitreya Brahmana that the bones of the sacrificed Purusha should not be broken. Wow. That is in Aitreya Brahmana, chapter 2, verse 6. You, you all, these are points toward, uh, to, uh, pointing out to Jesus. Uh, that's how His bone was not broken, yeah. crown of thorn you're talking about. This was my great faith on those days. I see. I was uh, searching which, who is the God? Mm-hmm. Who is the God who ever came and sacrificed His life for my sin? Because uh, there are so many Purana stories mm-hmm. and uh, also some Itikasas like Mahabharata, Ramayana and um, Bhagavad Gita. Okay. These are called Itikasa, it's not Vedas. 
Oh. See, see, there are Vedas, there is Upanishads, Brahmanas, Agamas, Itikasas and Purana stories. Okay. So, you have to make it in order. Everything cannot be Veda. So, Veda okay. is called Canon, Shruti. H how old the Vedas are? Uh, around uh, 2000 to 1500 BC. Oh, before Christ. Right, yeah. Before Christ, yeah. 2000, 2000. Mm. Okay. And at that time it was not in written form. Because there was no paper to write okay. or anything, All right. material. But it was from the mouth of the guru to the disciple and the disciple becomes a guru and he teach to his disciple. Oh, okay. But only in the later centuries, that is after Jesus Christ, that's first century or second century, they started to write. So okay. the Rigveda Sanskrit was colloquial, mm -hmm. but Bhagavad Gita is grammatical. Because Sanskrit knowledge developed in grammar. grammar I see. And they modified the language into a very nice language. All right. So Sanskrit means uh, corrected one or rectified one. Okay. So it has Pali, Atamagadi, so many languages are in that in <laughs> Sanskrit. Right. So, and also <clears throat> in Sadbada Brahmana, fifth chapter say, after the sacrifice, Praja Prachapadi should come alive. Okay. And uh, he will offer himself totally for the humankind. Praise God. I so, and he ends, the Purusha Sukta ends with a beautiful text saying, means uh, corrected one or rectified one. Okay. So it has Pali, Atamagadi, so many languages are in that in <laughs> Sanskrit. Right. So, and also in Sadbada Brahmana, fifth chapter say, after the sacrifice, Praja hmm. Prachapadi should come alive. Okay. And uh, he will offer himself totally for the humankind. Praise God. I so, and he ends, the Purusha Sukta ends with a beautiful text saying, Nanya Panta Ayanaya Vidyate. Mm -hmm. That means this is the way, there is no other way. And Jesus uh, said the same thing, I am the way, the truth and life. Maybe, but uh, later <laughs> I found it. Okay. But uh, I, in my earlier stage, right. not understanding Sanskrit, mm -hmm. I memorized. Okay. I memorized and was following faithfully. I was very honest and sincere to my religion. Mm -hmm and to the priest. I was very ritual. And, uh, but after some time, when I grow older and older, I started asking question. Where is the, who is this Prajapati? Mm -hmm. How can uh, he forgive my sin? Uh, how, can, uh, for, how can my good things save me, uh, cannot save me? Mm -hmm. Say, I was behaving good. Okay. Nobody can find fault in me. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I felt I was a sinner. Okay. In, inwardly. I, right. I never did any wrong thing outwardly, but uh -huh. inwardly, by my thinking, I committed a lot of sins. So, I felt that I was a sinner and this is the cry of the people in Rig Veda. Mm -hmm. Say, one Kausika Muni who wrote some portion in Rig Veda, he says, uh, I am bound with a big rope, just like a calf is bounded with a big rope. Lord, release me from this bondage. Mm -hmm. This is the cry of the old saints. Okay. They felt they were sinners. They were rishis. They I were see. saints. Okay. But they felt they were sinners. sinners okay. if, the, if the saints and rishis felt they were sinners, what about the common man? <laughs> All right. They could not realize uh -huh. because they do not have any idea of God. So they were just living as animals. I see. Okay. So sometimes when some people behave very brutally, uh, what we call the brutes, that means animals. Mm -hmm. Okay. See, if somebody go and sh shoot pe people, oh, this is like yeah. just wild people or cannibals Brutal, yes. or what all names we use. Uh -huh. So if man do not feel for his sin, he's just like an animal. Okay. So right. the soul is dead in him. That's mm -hmm. why he cannot see God. He, he cannot realize what is good and evil. Mm -hmm. So he just simply follow their parents and their parents. Okay. So this is religion. All right. So I was faithful. I, I went to the temple. Though my father never had been to the temple, he was just like a rationalist after he left the white man. Okay. So I do not know what kind of religion my family belongs to. Okay. So then I, when I studied all these things, my enthusiasm was to know this Prajapati. I see. Okay. Who is this Prajapati? Yes. Without him, my sins cannot be forgiven. So how you came uh, to this Christian?
Christianity and in this uh, faith and how you followed that. Yeah, then uh, when I was studying this, I asked questions and nobody explained me thoroughly. Okay. Nobody uh, uh, helped me to know who is this Prajapati. Mm -hmm. So at, at that time I was 19 years old, I think. Okay. In that young blood, I thought there is no religion. Okay. No God. People uh -huh. are cheating people, uh -huh. uh, making use of gods and goddesses and uh, making some festivals to make money. Mm -hmm. And uh, they are uh, earning something, the priest people, they are earning money, out, showing some religion. And uh, to become a religionist is nothing but to deceive ourselves. <laughs> okay. So I became an atheist. Oh, I see. Okay. And um, for three years I was an atheist. But one day, uh, one, one atheist leader was preaching. Mm -hmm. As soon as he came near the microphone, it started to rain. It was in an open area. Okay. So this man holding the microphone in his hand said, Oh God, why you should rain now? <laughs> so the man who proclaimed there is no God, no, no God. <laughs> without his knowledge he said, Oh God, why it should rain now? Mm -hmm. So he said, There must be God. There must <laughs> be one God. Yes. Then I asked the leader, Why you, do you proclaim that there is There's no God? God. Okay. And he said, There is God. Uh -huh. uh, that's why I am saying there is no God. And I couldn't understand him. Then I, if you believe that there is a God, why don't you accept it? Uh -huh. And he said, If I say there is God, the Jews say it is Jehovah. Mm -hmm. The Christians say it is Jesus Christ. Okay. The Muslims say it is Allah. Okay. And the Hindus in India say they have three billions and thirty-three thousand gods and goddesses. <laughs> oh my goodness! Okay. So why we should uh, make uh, fight with each other? Aye, Let okay. us say there is no, no God, God. Okay. no religion. Aye, okay. So that was his uh, philosophy about that. Yes. Okay. Then uh, I I was stranded and finally uh, my parents wanted me to get married. Mm -hmm. And uh, my uncle preferred that I should marry to a Christian girl so that I can become good. He thought that a Christian woman, if I she see. becomes my wife, I may become You'll good. Be good. Okay. I That's don't know what strange. idea or philosophy <laughs> he had about that. But even after marrying, uh -huh. marriage, I never behaved good. Okay. I was not a good husband to my wife. Children were born. I was not a good father to the mm -hmm. children. I started drinking, playing uh, cars. I see. Okay. Gambling, yeah, horse okay. racing, smoking, every bad habits came into me. Okay. And uh, gradually I wanted more money for my luxurious life. Sure. So I started to cheat people. Uh -huh. I'll borrow a thousand rupees from one person and th two thousand from another person. And with that two thousand I will return this one thousand <laughs> to this man. Okay. And borrow five thousand from so another man, return two thousand this man. So I was manipulating, I see, okay. proving that I am very yes. honest man. All right. So finally there was a great debt of more than one hundred thousand rupees, uh -huh. which I could not pay it back and people started to ask me. The more I drank and smoked, uh, some kind of uh, disease I had, finally okay. I found a tuberculosis. And I was so thin and bony, mm -hmm. the doctors gave me no hope. On those days there was no good medicine for uh, tuberculosis in India. So all these uh, things uh, made me to worry and I was depressed, defeated, dejected and finally I wanted to commit suicide. Mm -hmm. One day I even was traveling in the electric train in Madras city. I was so sad and worried and I thought why not I jump out of the train, okay. dash to the ground and die. That's uh -huh. finished for me. Okay. The moment I came to the edge of the door, I heard somebody speaking somewhere which fell into me ears through the loudspeaker, mm -hmm. saying, He that conceal his sin shall never prosper. All right. Which, uh, which struck me like anything. It mm -hmm. went deep into my heart. I thought, why I should hear such a voice at the time of when I wanted to come <laughs> to suicide? Okay. Why it not happen yesterday or tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Why at this time? So I thought that's, that must be something. I have never heard this in my old religion. I see. I never heard this uh, from any other saint teaching this to me. Mm -hmm. So I, I wanted to know what, what is the solution for my sin. So I got on at the next railway station. I walked near the railroads okay. and finally came to the place where uh, somebody was preaching about Jesus Christ. It was a Christian gospel meeting okay. conducted in an open ground. Uh -huh. I never wanted to go near. Because I was told that Christianity is a Western religion okay. and Jesus Christ is a white man's God. All right. <laughs> that even today people think like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I know. 
and uh, also people say that uh, only the low caste people mm -hmm. uh, will be Christians Christian, okay. and the downtrodden <laughs> and the poor they will become Christians mm -hmm. just to live. Okay. So being uh, born in a high caste and uh, I thought why should I go near them. I see, okay. But at the same time he awarded to hear what he says. Same. Okay. So I stood under the shadow of a tree so that nobody can notice me. Mm -hmm. And this person who was standing in a platform talking about sin. Okay. I know what is sin uh -huh. because even in the mantras it says Pabapal Naragadi Mastu. The wages of sin is hell. Oh, I see. Okay. But in the Bible, you say only death. death. But, but the, the, the Sanskrit death. mantra says directly to hell. To hell. Okay. So I know what is sin. Rogu, sogu, dukhu, balavanu, bandhu, vishnasnya, atma, parada, vishnam, falani, yedani, dehinam. So the fruit of the tree, uh -huh. the, the man is considered as a tree. Yeah. And what is the fruit of sin? Rog. Okay. Sog, okay. dukh. Yeah. Bandhan. All, right. <laughs> All these things are the fruit of this uh, uh -huh. uh, sinful tree. Okay. So when he was explaining, I thought, oh, this is all I know. Okay. I know about sin. Yeah, okay. How to escape from the bondage of sin? How yeah, to be redeemed? Yes. How to be saved from the sin? All right. Because in the Viveka Churamani and other slokas says, Na tapa, na snana, na yogena, na, sa, na dhyana, na shastresu, na vidya. Mm -hmm. See, neither by austerity or neither by performing yoga, or by studying the mantras and scriptures, neither by intellectual knowledge, okay. neither by giving alms to the poor, uh -huh. this will not save, save. From the okay. body of sin. All right. This is only the grace of God. Mm -hmm. So I thought that if these things cannot save me, who is the savior? Right. There must be a person. Uh -huh. So even in the in the Hindu mantras, they say uh, this uh, nirguna or parabrahma has to take a form so that we can see him. Mm -hmm. So the Parabrahma has to appear in flesh, Saguna Brahma. Oh, that's right. So, yeah, in, in yeah. Brahma Vandu Upanishad, they say, see. Vakyo Vai Brahma. That means the word, word, word was flesh. God. Oh, so I see. Dakshara oh. Parabrahma, the same word became in flesh. I so see. the okay. Parabrahma became Saguna mm -hmm. Brahma, right. who was in the beginning the word, or the mantra, or the pranava, or the womb. Okay. Whoever came to this word, in a human form. And uh -huh. Rigveda says he will be born to your Kumari. Okay. Uh, and uh, Kumari Garbha Sambhava, he will born to your Kumari. To a virgin, to a virgin. Okay. So these are all things which <laughs> made me confused on those days. Who is this God? Who is uh -huh. this God? When I was in 10th, the 9th standard and 10th standard, I, I studied, uh, I took uh, Sanskrit as an optional study through which I was able to understand some meaning of this mantra, uh -huh. what I have been telling. Mm -hmm. So curiosity was more in me. I finally, I could not get the proper answer, so that's how I became an atheist okay, and committed okay. suicide. But now this man was talking about sin. All in a sudden he said, even if you are in the bondage of sin, there is a way to escape. Oh, oh, I got a letter, what <laughs> this man is going to tell now. Uh -huh. And uh, he said, there is Jesus. I thought, oh, he's a white man's God. Mm -hmm. he's, a, he's a Western religion. How can you say that a Western okay. religious God can remove okay. my sin? Mm -hmm. And then he explained about Jesus, how he was born sinless to be a virgin. All right. And how he lived without sin. Uh -huh. How he became the sacrifice according to the prophecies in the Old Testament. Okay. And uh, how he was uh, crowned with a bush of thorns. Oh, okay. He was beaten by whip. And uh, he was nailed to the post and blood was oozing from head to bottom. Mm -hmm. And he never opened his so, mouth. Okay. And uh, he laid his life. People could not kill God. Uh -huh. He gave his life. Gave his life. Okay. And then his bones were not broken and he came to life again. And he redeemed uh, the sinners by his precious blood. Mm -hmm. When he was explaining that, I thought, is this man preaching About the Gabadi of the Rig Veda <laughs> right. or the Western God uh -huh. of the Bible? So finally, when he gave an altar call, who wants the Jesus Christ? I ran like a madman. <laughs> And uh, somebody took me to a private room and uh, they talked to me about Bible, which I do not know. Uh -huh. I was replying, uh, I asked so many questions from the Upanishads and Vedas, which they do not know. Okay. So they do not know, understand uh, the scriptures yeah. mm -hmm. and I do not understand their Bible. Bible. Okay. This is what is going on even today. Yes. Even today people do not know their literature. Uh -huh. Without knowing, they fight with each other. <laughs> <laughs> so See, I can say, <clears throat>
speak even the language. Yes. Even the language. Yes, language. Yes. See, you speak Hindi, I speak Tamil. That's right. But uh, English is common for common both of us. Yes. What do you say for water in your language? Pani. Pani. Yeah. I say Tanni. Okay. So when I come to your place and ask, give me Tanni, uh -huh. how will you understand? That's right. I should ask <laughs> in your language. Yeah. So Pani is the same water as Tanni. Yeah, okay. See, now you say Brahma. Mm -hmm. He's not a Hindu god. Brahma? Brahma is not a Hindu god. Oh. Brahma means creator. Okay. In Sanskrit, All right. Brahma, Brahma means creator. creator. Okay. So when I say creator, whether I say creator in English uh -huh. or Brahma in Sanskrit, Sanskrit. both the same. same. Okay. Both the same. All right. See, so sometimes, uh, uh, what do you say for jasmine, the flower? Uh, jasmine. Jasmine flower. Is there any name? I don't know. <laughs> no, actually. But in Tamil we say Mallika. Mallika. Mallika is Jasmine. I see. Okay. So if some woman is named as Mallika, mm -hmm. we call them Hindu. We okay. consider them Mallika will be a Hindu woman. Okay. okay. But some woman has the Jasmine. name of Jasmine. We say it's a Christian woman. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. So that is, the that is Tamil. Yeah. This is English. This is English. Okay. That makes the Jasmine. difference. Yeah. Okay. See, when you say Jehovah, mm -hmm. Jehovah. he's not a Jewish God. I see. In Hebrew, Hebrew language, language yes. Jehovah means God. God, yes. When you say Allah, yes. you are not a, you are not worshiping a Muslim God. Uh -huh. In Muslim, in in Arabic, Allah means God. I see. Okay. So if I say Allah, I am not a Muslim. Okay. If I say Jehovah, I am not a Jew. Uh -huh. If I say Ishwara, I am not a Hindu. And, okay. If I say Jesus, okay, that is I am not a Christian. Okay. I am mentioning the name of God uh -huh. in various languages. Various languages. Okay. People should understand that. So many scripture in India are very parallel with the Old Testament. Okay. So when I started to read the Bible, I found so many interesting things, mm -hmm. and five, which made me to consider that Jesus is the revelation of God, the Prajapati, whoever came to this world offered him as a sacrifice. Okay. And uh, the prophecy, what are told about in the Bible about Jesus Christ, have been fulfilled, mm -hmm. and uh, some of the things are being fulfilled even today. Okay. And the rest of the things will be fulfilled in later days. Amen. Yes. So I consider this is the authentic word of God. I see. And the one who comes in this Bible is Jesus Christ. That's how I became a Christian. All right. And at the same time, I want to tell not only you but the audience also, uh -huh. I do not belong to any religion. <laughs> okay, all right. Because Christianity is not a religion, uh -huh. and people make religion. Even yeah, people you make see, religion. That is true. In yes. the Bible, is there Catholic religion and Protestant religion? Mm -hmm. You cannot find. No, the Bible does not talk anything about uh, Protestant or uh, Catholic no. religion, even That's Pentecost religion. Yeah, nothing. But people make that. Yeah, denominations. Like the make. like the blind people, four blind people went to see an elephant. <laughs> Right. And one uh, touched the trunk and said it is like a post. Yes. Another one touched the leg and said it is like a pillar. <laughs> and one touched the abdomen and said it is like a big pot. Uh -huh. So what about there? Because they have no sight. All right. See, this insight in any religion, people uh -huh. may be a Hindu or a Christian or a Muslim, whoever may be, yeah. they should go deep into their scripture. Mm -hmm. They should find what the Vedas say okay. about God. All right. Then there won't be any problem to understand the real only one God, mm -hmm. and that's how I became a Christian. All right. So I have to explain so what, all these what, things. So what difference you find in Christianity and other faith with other faiths? See, in Christianity, the thing is, uh, Jesus Christ appeared in a personical form. Mm -hmm. We cannot see God. Even Bible says no one has no one seen, seen God. God yes, it is only Jesus who revealed God. He was sent person God and son person man. Mm -hmm. See, I am a man. God is spirit. Yes. I cannot see the spirit. Yeah. And the spirit can see me, mm -hmm. but I can't see, I can't spirit. see the spirit. So if at all if I want to know God, unless God shows himself in a physical form. Okay. I cannot see I can't. him. Yeah. No one. No one. So can. this uh, Aru Uru Aru Uru. This call Aru means Arupa. God is Arupa. He has no form. Okay. God is formless. Formless, okay. And this formless God should become Uru. Okay. He's in a, in a person, form. Okay. in a form, All right. so that I can see Him. But He cannot uh, be seen all the time. Uh -huh. So He is in spirit, Aru Uru. He is okay. a form, form okay. but in spirit. God is a person. You call in Christianity, Holy Spirit is a person. Yes. 
is not a spirit, no. it's a person. It's a person. So can you see Holy Spirit? No. No. But he's a person. Yeah, we can that is Aruvuru. The that, that is, is Aruvuru. Okay. This is how the philosophy in India in the early centuries started. And later that they said uh, Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva, all these things all on a sudden it emerged. So in Hinduism, only the people with their own philosophical mind invented so many philosophies. That's why you have so many gods and goddesses. So this is uh, all uh, designed by man? Man. Developed by yeah, man. Yeah, okay, yes. I must say that. But because in the Rig Veda, you find in the beginning Agni, Vayu, Varuna, Indra. Mm -hmm. These are the prominent uh, gods they were worshipping. I see. Where are they now? Why people do not worship Varuna today? Oh. They forgot all these four elements in the beginning. Uh -huh. Now they have newly formed all the new gods. Are these gods in the Vedas? Which gods? The, the, you're talking about Ganesh and... Uh, and uh, uh, these Ram are Shiva. not found in the Rig Veda. The Vedas you cannot find. Oh, so how they uh, came this, in existence? This is what I say. The philosophical mind of people invented so many new philosophies and every attribute of God was formed as a god. That's why we have numerous gods. So, but people say, for, ex for example, there was a, in, uh, I was in India, there was fighting going on around the this temple and uh, mosque mm. about uh, Ram Janam Bhumi. Yeah. So, it means it existed, Ram. Actually, when the, when the, actually this thing was progress in India, uh -huh. before demolition. I see. Uh, many times the Muslim group and the Hindu groups, they s used to sit together with some mediator and we're talking how to solve this problem. Uh -huh. And uh, once the Imam of Islam, yeah. he asked a question to the Hindu group, if you prove that there was a person like Rama lived, I see. we will demolish the masjid with our own hands uh -huh. and give the place to you. Okay. He wanted them to prove historically. For uh -huh. that, uh, Mr. Joshi, who was also a leader of the religion, he replied that they cannot prove, but it is their faith. Oh, so there's no evidence for... There's no existence. evidence. So they call it Ram Janam Bhumi. Uh, they call, they may call it, but they have to go deep into the Vedas in which they will not find it. See, so suppose I, I believe that this table is God, it is my faith. Can, <laughs> you, can you say no to that? <laughs> no. Unless you make me to understand, this is an ordinary wood, Word, yes. which is shaped and made like a life table. table. Yeah, okay. Then I, if I understand, if I, okay. I must so have a willingness to individual understand. Individual thing. <laughs> so individually, we cannot condemn other faith. Mm -hmm. But the, if they are interested to know God, know the truth. So being a religious person mm -hmm. is something else. I see. But if you really want to know God to save your soul, then you have to go for research and search for. Okay. Right. See, every person has given knowledge and wisdom uh -huh. to understand God, okay. whether we have to make use of that. Mm -hmm. If I refuse, no, I cannot do that. I will only follow what my forefathers were doing. If they, if they say that they, they, they will do only their forefathers were doing, why do they come to Canada? Why do they put on suit? Okay. Why do they put on, uh, they, they uh, make themselves like a Canadian woman, right. Canadian okay. man? Yes, okay. Huh? They cannot uh, do that. They cannot follow their ancestors. Mm -hmm. Their ancestors never traveled in aer aeroplane. They walked. <laughs> okay. And they walk nowadays. Yeah, okay. So, they, see, things are changing. So the culture the is, is changing. I, I see that the Mahabharata and Ramayana, they, they all, we see their dramas and everything. Yeah, but, but because on those and days, people worship them as only God. the Pandits, the Brahmin priests, they know the Veda. They studied the Veda. I see. And the forbidden other people like Kshatriya, Vaisya, Sudra, or uh -huh. Panchama, they were not allowed to study Vedas. Okay. Only sometimes the Kshatriyas were also allowed because the Brahmins needed the help of the Kshatriyas. They are warriors. Uh -huh. okay. So they need them. So they allowed some of the Kshatriyas also to study Vedas. But they were never allowed to become priests. Uh -huh. Even if you know all the Vedas, by memory, I see. you cannot become a priest Pre unless you are a, you are born in a Brahmin family or a pandit. Oh, okay. So you you you're talking about Brahmin, uh, the born in Brahmin family. Okay. Uh, what about this? Uh, uh, they call it Punar Janama and eighty-four lakhs. So, I, I will tell you about this uh, yeah. uh, Mahabharata. Okay, Brahman, yeah, Mahabharata. Okay. See, uh, 
this comes under the category of open, not not even openness. They are called the uh, what do you call itikasas. Mm -hmm. Itikasa means great parable. Oh, parable! Or a a para, big parable. I see. It's a story. See, there must be some foundation. Mm -hmm. In the Rig in the Vedic period, they say this happened even before some five thousand or six thousand years before Jesus Christ. I see. It should be mentioned in the Vedas. Okay. Such a big story. Yeah. They admire it, but nothing of this is found in the Vedas. Oh. If they believe Vedas are true, okay. and if these things happen during the Vedic period. Uh -huh. Why they have failed to mention about this uh, Mahabharata Mahabharat, war see. and everything in the I Vedas? See. It's okay. only comes under the canon of Smriti. That's uh, what we f believe. Uh -huh. So, but there must be some foundation. I see. See, India is a country. Uh, that time it was not India. It was called Sindhu Valley. Okay. Sindhu Valley. Sindhu Valley. Okay. Sindhu Valley extended from Afghanistan up to Burma, Malaysia, Sri Lanka, Indonesia, all these small islands. Okay. This is called in India. Sindhu, Sindhu okay. Valley. Okay. So the Persians and the Arabians and Jews and Egyptians were living in the Middle East. Okay. And Kabul is the headquarters for Hindu, Hindu, Indus Valley. Indus Valley. Sindhu Valley. Okay. Sindhu. So the Persians were the first group to enter into the through the Khyber and Bolan Pass. I see. To Sindhu Valley, okay. and the Persians should not have the alphabet C. They cannot say Sindhu. Oh, okay. But they had only He. I see. So they called it Hindu Valley. So Sindhu so Valley. Persian. Persian into Hindu. Changed into Hindu Valley. Okay. Hindu does not mean a religion on those days. It was the name of the country. Oh, but they uh, today we see it as Hinduism. See, now, when they called it Hindu Valley, then after some time the Arabians came. Okay. Who became Muslims? Okay. And they call it Hindustan. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Then later period, and the Portuguese and the French people came to India. They uh -huh. grabbed some places, and they call Indies. Okay. Even today, if you go to Germany and all the European country, uh -huh. they call Indi, Where? not India. I they see. call Indies. Indies. Yes, Indies. So we have West Indies, West Indies, yes. Indies, Indies, and East Indies. Okay. Yeah. So this Indies. When the when the European the the English people came, mm -hmm. they started to grab one state after another. Okay. India was about eighty five countries on those days. It was not one country. Oh, huge! So they started to grab one after another. Finally, oh. they brought every country under their control right. and named it all India. Even okay, today, yes, yes. when the English yeah. news is read in India, they say this is all, all India. India ready. Ready. That's right. Even yeah. the, in the Indian constitution, it uh. is uh, it is under all India. India. Okay. So India means it is not one country. Mm -hmm. Even in the Bible, when it say from India to Ethiopia, yeah. King Xerxes who was yeah. ruling 127 countries. Okay. So how much, how big it was then at those times? Ah. Even up before 1947, mm -hmm. you must see the picture of India. Yeah. Okay. When English people liberated, gave independence to India, uh -huh. they gave independence to all the other states. Uh -huh. See, Malaysia was uh, separated, Burma was separated, oh, Sri pieces. Lanka was separated, <laughs> Afghanistan was separated, okay. Pakistan was separated. separated. Uh -huh. Now we have only a small India. Small India, I see. But okay. that time it was a very big. Mm -hmm. So even that, when they say people who lived in India. They developed gradually one after another. The Jews came, the Babylonians came, and the Egyptians came. Mm -hmm. The Jews were proclaiming only one God. Okay. The Babylonians worshipped idols, and the Egyptians worshipped idols. They all brought their faith into India. I That know. time, India was an animist country. Nature uh -huh. worship, hero worship. There was no religion at all. Oh, I see. Okay. So when these people came, somebody followed Egyptians, somebody followed Jews, somebody followed. So there was a multiple. Uh, colors mm -hmm. started to form, okay. and uh, <coughs> gradually uh, they started uh, sacrifice. The Jews start, started Sacrific sacrificing okay. animals for remission of sin, okay. according to the yeah. Old, Testament. Okay, Old Testament. Indian yes. people also followed some of their faith, uh -huh. and uh, some Mahavir. He was a great Dravidian, and he raised up and said, "Why do you kill animals in the name of God? Mm -hmm. Let us not believe in God. Let us not kill any animal." I see. That teaching was followed by a group of people, which was called Jainism. Jainism, yes. Jainism. Okay. So he was the leader for that. I see. Mahavira. Mahavira. Yeah. Okay. And uh, Siddhartha, who was living in Nepal, that uh -huh. time there was no Hindu religion. I see. He was following the animist religion. Uh -huh. So uh, some thoughts from other uh, people who entered into India. 
we cannot say it was a Hindu religion. So Siddhartha came out of the palace and found this old age man and death and all these things. He was frustrated and he was uh, he left his palace and searching for the truth. Okay. And he followed the teaching of this Mahavir. Okay. And uh, he, when he started to preach, adding some of his findings, mm -hmm. because he was a prince, all the kings invited him to their courts okay. and asked him to say what he feels in his heart. Uh -huh. And uh, mostly the North Indian soil became a Buddhist country. Okay. See, even before the birth of Jesus Christ, India except the southernmost part, Tamil Chola Pandya Kingdom, India was a Buddhist country. Before Christ? Yes. Okay. For 600 years there was Buddhists who ruled India. Uh -huh. And for 800 years the Muslims ruled India. These are all historical facts. We cannot say, we cannot okay. deny that. Mm -hmm. So, when during Buddhist rule, they abolished all animal sacrifices. Okay. okay. So this is the thing where these people, the pandits who have no place to live, uh, because they lived only on sacrificing animals. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and right. uh, now they have no place yeah. to stand with. Okay. Yeah. So, their craftiness and cunningness, they started to split the Buddhist religion. They, okay. they, sp they split the Jainist religion as uh, um, two sects like. Mm -hmm. And the Jainism was split, and Buddhism was split. Okay. Buddhism was split as Mahayana and Hinayana, mm -hmm. and Dihambara and Nikambara yeah. in Jainism. Okay. Yeah, Dihamb yeah. So, when they split a religion, it was easy for them to go in. So, okay. gradually they chased out all the religious leaders out of India. I see. Now, Buddhism was born in India. It was a ruling kingdom in India. Where is Buddhism today? Mm -hmm. It all went eastwardly. I see. Because of these people chased them out. Chased them out. Okay. And then what they left with this, you, you asked about Punarjanma. Yeah. See, see, the faith of the Buddhists is Punarjanma because they didn't believe in God. Oh. So suppose if I ask somebody, what will happen to your soul after death? Mm -hmm. If he believes in God, he will say, God will find, find a remedy for my soul. I see. But these Buddhists never believed in God. Uh -huh. They never preached about God. Buddha never told that he is a God incarnation. Okay. It is only these people made him an made incarnation. Him. Oh, I see. And uh, <clears throat> uh, they have to say some answer. They, what they said, when a person dies, he has to take another birth. Okay. So what he does in this life will be accumulated for his other life. Other life. Okay. And that what he does in that life will be continued for his other life. Okay. And like that it has to go on and on. Then how many births we have to take? <laughs> okay. So Punarjanma is a philosophy. Okay. So suppose uh, uh, if, I, if I suffer with tuberculosis, okay. if it is my Janma, mm -hmm. it is because of my Janma, okay. why I should go to hospital? Mm -hmm. I okay. should die. <laughs> I should accept the Janma, Janma, yeah, yeah. janma uh, the Karma. Yeah, okay. See? Suppose if you lose your, one of your legs, mm -hmm. if it is your karma, <laughs> okay. then you have to live with one leg. Okay. Why do you go and make an artificial leg? You uh, want to break the karma. Okay. So why should Vivekananda or Paramahamsa, all these people started doing something good in the religion? Mm -hmm. Did they want to abolish karma? I see. See, karma is stamped on the, the fate is stamped on everybody's head because of the craftiness of these Brahmin people. Oh. So they, they took something from the Buddhist religion and mixed it with their philosophy. Mm -hmm. So I read one story in one of the Upanishads, uh, in Katha Upanishad. Okay. A disciple asked his Guru, uh, Guru teach me who was I in my former birth okay. and why I am a man suffering in this life okay. and what I will be in my future birth. Mm -hmm. Tell me, unless I know, yeah. how can I make me good I and see. release from the bondage of rebirth All cycle. Right. So the Guru tried to teach him a lesson saying, a small boy got a butterfly mm -hmm. and he was pulling the legs and wings from the body. <laughs> okay. Somebody watched him torturing this butterfly. butterfly. He came and told if you do like this, you will born as a butterfly in your future birth. I see. And this butterfly will born as a boy and he okay. will pull your wings and legs. Okay. At this point, well, no sir, I would have been a butterfly in my former birth uh -huh. and this butterfly would have been a boy 
he might have pulled my legs and wings. That is Not why I am taking revenge. <laughs> why, why don't you think like this? I say, okay. So after telling the story, the Guru asked, the, what do you understand by this? Uh -huh. And the disciple says, I do not know what I was. Uh -huh. I do not know what I am going to be, okay. but I know what I am now. Uh, okay. If I do not find the way of salvation in no. this life, okay. what is the use of taking so many births? Uh -huh. Even Bhakta Tulsi does. Okay. What a beautiful song he said, Punarabhi Marana, Punarabhi Janani, Punarabhi Janani, Jadare Sayana, Ek Dunsare Vak Dunsare, Kripya Pare Pahi Murare. Mm -hmm. How many times I have to born? I How see. many times I have to die? Okay. How many times I have to sit in the womb of my mother? Mm -hmm. He said, Lord, this is boring. <laughs> okay. I, I cannot get rid of this. Release me I from see. this rebirth cycle. Uh -huh. So why people cry like that? Mm -hmm. So this Kriyamana Karma, Sanchit Karma, Prarapta Karma, all these are philosophies. Oh, that cannot be that cannot be true. That's all philosophies. Mm -hmm. Some people say, oh, if, if some people live under poverty, we say it is easily say it is because of your old sins. Yeah, your past sins. Yeah, okay. you are <laughs> because of your karma. Hmm? Karma because karma. of your karma. Okay. Your, your because karma. Of, yeah. Then if it is so, why he tries to get more money? Yeah, it's going against his karma. He can live under poverty and die. <laughs> but people right. try their best to uplift themselves. Mm -hmm. So this karma philosophy is not at all helpful for the soul. Okay. So it is appointed for any man to have only one life, and before he could die, he could find the way of salvation. In this life. And in this life. Okay. Uh, see, suppose uh, another thing happened. When my grandfather died, uh -huh. Uh, so many priests came and prayed uh, day and night for three days. I see. They were c continuously telling mantras day and night. I see. And I asked my grandmother why such a long prayer is done. He said, Your grandfather has to go to heaven. I see. These prayers will send him to heaven. So I was so happy. I also assisted this priest in the daytime. Okay. And uh, after the third day, the prayer was over. I was so happy that my grandfather would have reached heaven. Uh -huh. But the next year on the same day, again they started praying. Oh. And I asked my grandma, did my grandfather go to heaven last year? <laughs> okay. If this prayer was yeah. done for him to send to heaven, Should why be every there? year we have to do that? Oh, every so year? Every year they do. I see, okay. For the dead ones. <laughs> All right. So what is the use of that? Uh -huh. So it is. it can this convince all... me, yeah. it, I can satisfy myself, but not the soul who died already. Mm -hmm. See, when you say it is karma, it is easy to convince anybody okay. and it never hurts anybody. Simply you yes, can say it is your because karma. of your karma. So we, we deceive <laughs> ourselves. Okay. So this Mahabharat uh -huh. is a story based upon the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. Say in the Old Testament, God chooses a small group of family like Israel and God fights with their enemy and brings them to the promised land. Mm -hmm. This is in the Old Testament. Yes. So when the Jews came to India, they might have told all these stories. And our people also expanded the story. The Vyasa school is great. I see. There's not, there's not one Vyasa. Vyasa means a teacher. Okay. So many teachers developed this story and had so many new characters to that, that uh, God chose Pandavas mm -hmm. and fought with Kauravas yes. and finally gave the promised land. <laughs> okay. So this is the base what we can find in the Old Testament, I see, which came through the Jews into Jews, India. I see. Likewise Ramayana is, a, is one of the uh, Itikasa, where in the songs of Solomon there is husband and wife, and the wife is stolen by a king. Uh -huh. So the husband goes to rescue her. This story in the songs of Solomon uh -huh. had brought by the Jews into India. In later days so many people started right, but finally uh, Valmiki uh, completed it and Vyasa composed it. Uh, he formed everything, collected every sayings, mm -hmm. and finally Vyasa rectified it as a big book. So here in Ramayan, Sita was stolen by Ravan, okay. and he has ten heads. Can you imagine? Can a man have ten heads? <laughs> okay. It's the Ten Commandments which made the Israelites under bondage. <laughs> so oh, he see. kills it. He kills the giant. I see. The commandment is Command. being killed on the cross. I see. And so he redeems the Sita, the, the church. Mm -hmm. And then Rama allowed her to go into the fire testing. Likewise, Jesus allowed the church to go into the fire testing. The uh -huh. one who comes out from me will baptize you on fire and spirit. Uh -huh. Okay. So that's a purification. That is taken from Bible. Yeah. All many things are based upon even women keeping the red mark on the forehead and tying the red thread, raksha bandhan, uh -huh. and uh, putting this red powder on the doorpost in the homes. 
Everything yes. is based upon Bible. And I have searched all in the Upanishads and asked even Sankaracharya about this. Have you uh, anything based uh, about this uh, tilak and all these things, uh, this holy ash what we yes. put on the forehead? He said, our Vedas, we have no clue. But in the Bible we have clue. Uh -huh. So the Old Testament practices have come to India through the Jews. Even before the Betta Press, many Jews settlement were yes. here. Yes. This is history. Okay. So why I believe in Jesus Christ? Mm, yeah, I want to ask you that. According to the, the Vedas uh -huh. and according to the Old Testament, there was an expectation that God will come in a human form, offer his body as a sacrifice, mm -hmm. which is fulfilled only in Jesus Christ. I see. Okay. So you now you you telling me they li uh, wrote Ramayana mm -hmm. on based on Bible. Yeah. So it means it's just a parable kind of or a story. It, it's it, nothing in Bible. It is a real story. Okay. But in India, yeah. they have added more characters, insertions, mm -hmm. new things. I see. And finally, developed a very big story. Really, the story is very beautiful. Uh huh. See, when you watch uh, Bhagavad Gita Ramayana, Ramayana, yes. Every character is important. Okay. You can know how a good husband to live through Rama. Okay. You can love how your wife should behave through Sita. Okay. You can know how Ravan is very bad. Uh -huh. How Wali was uh, become a betrayer. So many things are there. How Hanuman helped them, are faithful to their masters. I see. How Guha, though he was born as a in a fisherman family, how he became a friend to Ram. Mm -hmm. So God has no uh, caste system. God yeah. never uh, made anybody stand uh, again mm. uh, away from him. So in the story of Ramayana, you can find all people gathered together. But they are not God. They are not God. So people imagine. worshipping, people praying to Ram and people praying because to other Because these stories were written to promote the faith of the ordinary people who do not know the Vedas. Mm -hmm. But what happened, they started to worship the heroes coming in the story instead of the personal God who came in the history. Uh -huh. So Jesus has a historical background. Okay. Whereas here in Ramayana and Mahabharata you have no historical background. You know, the, our, uh, when India became independent, the first defense minister was Krishna Manik. Yes. And he had a nephew by name Sudhakar. Sudhakar, yes. He was, uh, he was born in a Brahmin family and uh, he was... Uh, very, a very learned person, not only he has made two MAs, one MA is in Sanskrit mm -hmm. and another in English, I so see. he was double MA. Okay. And he was a follower of Bhagavad Gita. Okay. And uh, when, um, after some time, when Dr. Radha Krishnan was about to become the president of India, this person, Sudhakar, was a student of Radha Krishnan. Okay. So is, is he a Paul Sudhakar? Paul Sudhakar. Yes, yes. This I Sudhakar went to Dr. Radha Krishnan and asked him, if you become a president, I told him, it be easy thing for me to come and meet you. Uh -huh. So before you become the president okay. of India, tell me tell how me. I should lead my good life. Mm -hmm. So Dr. Radha Krishnan looked in his library, finally he pulled a new testament and gave to him. I see. And then you read this, you will become good. Uh -huh. And this fellow took the book to his home, started reading from the beginning. Uh -huh. He says, Abraham gave birth to Isaac. Isaac gave birth to uh, Joshua, yeah. uh, Jacob. Jacob. Jacob gave birth. So he yeah. was the genealogy. The genealogy there. is there, 42. Then he jumped out of joy. This is the right book. This is the truth, what I want to know. Uh -huh. The genealogy, the genealogy there. is there, 42. Then he jumped out of joy. This is the right book. This is the truth what I want to know. Uh -huh. See, can you imagine anybody who reading the first chapter of Matthew will, will be born again? <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay. I asked him personally uh, one day, yeah. how, how did you accept this book, this Jesus as your personal savior? I see. Um, we are preaching the gospel in various ways, but only by reading, reading the, the genealogy. genealogy. And you know what the answer he gave me? He said, in Ramayana, we know the father of Ram is Dasratha. Uh -huh. Who is the father for Dasratha? Okay. I see. And Vasudeva is the father of Krishna. Uh -huh. Who is the father of Vasudeva? Uh -huh. okay. We do not know. Okay. But here in the Bible, every genealogy is mentioned. Up to Adam and Adam was created by God. Mm -hmm. So I find this is the right book. <laughs> All right. So yes. Bible is not an imaginary book. Okay. It is a historical Inspired book. Word of God. See, yes. the year of the 
kings ruled several parts of mm -hmm. the world is yeah, mentioned, mentioned here. here yes and even egypt which comes in the bible still here still, yeah okay iraq mm -hmm. is still here yes syria is still here mm -hmm. india is still here yes the name of india yes. comes oh, yeah, in, in the bible I've seen, yes. so this is not an ordinary book this is see wherever you find in the old testament it says thus says the lord thus says the lord yes not man says uh -huh. it's the lord that's says it, something it, yes. so it was a direct revelation for the jewish people mm -hmm. whereas in india the saints were searching for the truth okay they were searching mm -hmm. and their search is really very important but the later people added so many imaginary things okay and uh, made religions uh -huh. and divided religions say saivism was the first religion in ad in south india and it was divided into another religion called vaishnavism okay and in saivism there is gaumaram and ganabatya mm -hmm. so ganabatya means god will be killed and come to life again that is ganapatyam i see okay and that's why they formed a story as if parvati made a god out of her body dirt aha uh -huh. and uh, he she gave life to that uh, dirty boy that, yeah and while she was taking birth, bath uh, shiva came and uh, this boy stopped him uh -huh. so out of anger he took his sword and cut the uh, head of the uh, dirty boy okay and when uh, sita came and found he was dead he cried and oh he is my son why did you kill him uh -huh. and he and shiva said oh i do not know whether he is son uh, but if you look to something whatever comes before you you cut the head and fix to his body he will come alive okay. <laughs> that's how the elephant head was fixed to his body and he became an elephant headed boy I see. can you really believe this story see if that's if he is that would be easier so if if shiva <laughs> is god yeah can the same head be fixed to the body why not if he is god definitely or can he know uh -huh. because his power yeah. he is the son, son of his the <laughs> right. son yes. of parvati body yeah yeah okay yeah so this are this so are things god. to explain to common people uh -huh. how god will die for us but he is not a dead god he will come to life again aha uh -huh. okay so they made some stories to explain to the common people the common people were not allowed to know the truth in the vedas uh -huh. but only made to follow the stories all right that's how you have found so many gods and goddesses mm -hmm. Yeah that was my question was but you answers already that in in country mm. like india we have so many god and goddesses and mm. different uh, yeah. faiths mm. okay now what would you like to advise to christian like me mm. or like others uh, the following the faith say different faith jesus christ expect every follower to go and preach the gospel mm -hmm. and make people disciple i see the whole world okay because god wants to make the kingdom by his own people mm -hmm. see adam was the first man god told him rule the earth yes but he, main, yes. he was defeated by the deceiving of satan and yes. he became yes. the slave yes. to satan yes. yeah and then god chose abraham mm -hmm. and uh, through his uh, gr the, the grandson isaac uh, the grandson israel israel that yes. was jacob became jacob, israel yes. and israel became a nation mm -hmm. and god wants to prove the world that he is god through one nation Uh -huh. this nationals deceived, deceived okay. god yeah. they rejected god rejected god yes so now god came to the world mm -hmm. he himself came to the world and did something for the people that means he sacrificed his life mm -hmm. for the remission of sin okay now those who believe in jesus christ become the children of god mm -hmm. those who are washed by the blood of because blood is the Uh, remission for remission sins. Remission for sins. Yes. The life is in the blood, blood yeah. not in the body. No. In the blood. Mm -hmm. So our blood is corrupted. See, when you say I am angry, uh -huh. your flesh do not have anger. It's only your blood. Blood. Some people blood say my blood is boiling. <laughs> yeah. So the anger is in the blood. In the blood. Okay. So the the blood makes your muscles to twist. Mm -hmm. Then you beat somebody. Yeah. Okay. so it is not the anger is in the blood so the blood has to be transformed uh -huh. that's why god gave and gave his blood okay All that's right. why people in the ancient days they started to kill animals and shed blood thinking uh -huh. that blood will cleanse them yes but in the bible in the book of hebrews the writer argues mm -hmm. if the blood of the animal can forgive the sins of people uh -huh. how, much how much more, more yes. the blood of jesus, jesus yes. son of god who gave himself pure, for pure, the remission your blood yes so sinless the transformation of life has to be changed mm -hmm. say have you ever uh, heard from somebody that uh, uh, a murderer or an adulterer or a gambler say 
that only after knowing Jesus Christ I become a gambler. Mm-hmm. Has anybody said that? No. Have anybody said that only after knowing Jesus Christ I became an adulterer? No. no. But a prostitute yes. or, a, or a made adulterer or a gambler or a drunkard, mm-hmm. they say after receiving Jesus. Jesus Christ, my life is transformed. Yes. Amen. Yes. So this is not changing religion, uh-huh. changing life. our own life. Yeah, okay. Jesus never said change your religion. Mm-hmm. He said change your life. He never made any religion. He changed Bible. life. Repent. John 3.16 says, yeah. God so loved the world. Yeah. Whosoever believeth yes. should not perish, Amen. Yes. but however as to die. See, for, for me, yeah. I was an atheist, I, I was doing all kinds of sin, I was under poverty, I was in the dust. Mm-hmm. Nobody cared for me. <laughs> right. But when I believed in Jesus Christ, He took my hand. Amen. I yes. never hold Him. He That's took my right. hand. Okay. When I believed Him, He led me through mm-hmm. the way. Amen. Now God is making use of me for so many people to share my testimony. Yes. So anyone, see, other thing you must know, Many people think Westerners are all Christians. No. No. They are not Christians. Many of them are not Christians. No, they don't know about Christ even. Some people even say our country is a Christian country. Uh-huh. May, the country may be a Christian <laughs> country. What about the life but, of the people? Amen. Yes. They do yes. all kinds yes. of sin. Uh-huh. So, the one who has a cross on the neck chain is not a Christian. No. <laughs> if you have a name from the Bible, you are not a Christian. Yeah, that's right. Because you go to every Sunday morning to a church, you are not a Christian. Uh-huh. But unless you transform, life the life is That's transformed yes. by the Holy Spirit. Mm. Born again, that when you believe in Jesus yes. Christ, that He died for your sake, uh-huh. then you born in Him like a child, drink the milk, which is the true word of God, mm-hmm. and grow in the knowledge of God, then you will be called a sacristy. Right. So this is what I give. The present days, many Christians say, oh, this religion is bad, that God is demon. Uh-huh. I don't like this. No, no, no. See? Every religion has good things, uh-huh. but religion is not salvation. Okay, religion, religion will not save. Will not save. Yes. Good persons or good things in our life cannot. The righteous mm-hmm. thing cannot make me uh, mm-hmm. release from the bondage of sin. I may try to become good because I want people to admire at me. Uh-huh. See, one inspector told me, "I may try to become good because I want people to admire at me." Uh-huh. See, one inspector told me he never smoked. Uh-huh. Why? Because. I am an inspector of police. Uh-huh. So if people see me smoking, they may even dare to come and ask me a cigarette or give me a lighter. <laughs> so I want to keep my reputation. I, so yes. just to keep the reputation, keep reputation, some people do not commit sin. Okay. See, mm-hmm. some people drink and uh, shout at home, beat their wives and children and they make all sorts of nonsense. And we call them drunkard. Uh-huh. But what about the one who get drunk and go to sleep immediately? <laughs> he's also a drunkard. Can we begin to uh, ask, uh, tell him there's a good drunkard <laughs> and he's a bad drunkard? A bad drunk, yes. The drunkard is drunkard. Drunkard is okay. So it's only the transformation what Jesus gives us mm-hmm. that what he Life go changed. and preach the gospel. Yes, yes. So I find that there are many good things in every religion, mm-hmm. and the Vedas, whether it is Hindu or Sanskrit or even Quran or any other Vedas, even in, in the Adi Granth Sahib, uh-huh. if there is good thing, we keep it up. Okay. And also try to know to whom these things are focused. Oh, I see. Okay. <coughs> mm-hmm. So when I read the Rig Veda of Prajapati, yeah. I wanted to know who is this Prajapati. Finally, it focused to Jesus Christ. Amen. All the qualities of Prajapati are found in Jesus. Is there any other name <coughs> given for salvation? There is no name. Because <coughs> it is if, if the Prajapati sacrifice is happened in Jesus Christ, uh-huh. there is no other name than Jesus Christ. Jesus. Because even it says, Nanya Bhanta Vidya Dhyayanaya. Mm-hmm. There is no other way other than this way. Amen. Okay. Yeah. So, Asya. preach the gospel and also when you preach the gospel to the non Christians, uh-huh. do not hurt them. Uh-huh. Make them to understand their own scripture. Mm-hmm. There was one uh, great man in South India uh, who was called Dharmatit Maharaj. Okay. Before he became 30 years old, he went all through yogas, mm-hmm. Kundalini, every yoga he performed. Okay. And, uh, and the people wanted to make him president for the propagation of Hindu faith. Okay. So he became the president. Okay. And he was so uh, eager to know the depth of Hinduism mm-hmm. so that he can propagate his, uh, to his society about okay. Hinduism. The more we studied Hinduism, finally he was baptized and called John Dharmatit. 
Yes, he found truth, so, truth as you did. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Anyone yeah. who go okay. into that world, so what we say, what Christians say, we preach the gospel, say, come, join Christianity. We don't give them time to reason why I should become a Christian. Uh-huh. Make them that. to understand <laughs> their own scripture and find out what is the truth. Mm-hmm. Okay, because my people are perishing because of lack of knowledge. They yeah. don't read. Yeah. They don't know. Yeah. They just follow. Yeah. Others follow. Yes, I always say, how many Christians know their Bible well? Yeah. That's how right. many Muslims know their Quran? Mm-hmm. How many Sikhs know their Adi Granth Sahib? Yeah, that's right. Okay. They just follow a religion and the tradition of uh, their forefathers. All right. So, this is the thing I want to Sadhuji, tell you. Sadhuji, thank you very, very, very much. Mm-hmm. And I thank God for this uh, time He has given us to... He wants to reveal is the truth because mm. he says in the word it says if you know the truth and that will set yeah, you the free. The truth will set, set you free. free. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And if Jesus God said, is truth. And Jesus said I am the way, the yeah, truth the and truth. life. Amen. That the, the prayer ends with the Prigadar in Upanishad. Asodama sad kamaya, tamasuma judir kamaya, mrutyama mrutam kamaya. Lord lead me from untruth to truth. Amen. Yes. From Amen. darkness to light. Yes. From death to eternal Amen. life. And Jesus is the only person who ever said, I am the way, the truth, and life. Amen. Pastor, can you pray for my audience that yes. God may be merciful and reveal the truth? To sure. Them. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this wonderful thank time you, Jesus. of thank making you, this conversation with my dear pastor Amen. who is ministering your word in this country. Amen. Lord, uh, when the people hear this testimony as well as the truth found in all the scriptures. Lord, I want the people to understand that the only truth is God Amen. and that yes. God is Thank personified you. in the human body as Jesus Christ. Whoever came into this world born of a virgin mm-hmm. offered his body as a living sacrifice for the remission of our sin. Lord, make them to understand that they are not changing the religion but following the truth. Amen. And also to know that Jesus is the only Savior yes, historically Lord. born, died and resurrected. Amen. Lord, I want you Amen. to bless them. Thank you. And also to lift them up from the bondage of sin Mm. and also from sicknesses and poverty. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 God bless you. Thank you.